Writing this piece for Electra has been such a pleasure, knowing that when it's all said and done, the instrument that will be performing this music um, is the, the luscious tones of uh, Electra's singers is a real treat for a composer. So I felt that it gave me permission to take some risks and really allowed me to explore the musical language that I wanted to with this piece. The first movement, being born, the red movement, describes birth in quite explicit language. It's beautifully poetic and ties together the physical and abstract worlds. The music that has come out of this is quite uh, enunciatory, I would say, and starts with octaves in the piano and major triads at fortissimo in the, in the choir. At the end, it becomes a little bit twisted as we move from the womb into this complicated world, which is then explored for the rest of the piece. The second movement, Blue, which is called Living, was written with Caitlin Robinson's voice in mind. It's for mezzo-soprano, solo, and choir. It's much more lyrical than either of the movements on either side of it and is about leaving your mark in the world. It talks about composing, it talks about writing and dictating your hieroglyphs, think something that lasts beyond your lifetime and that that's really the purpose of your time on earth. which is about the color yellow, was by far the most difficult for me to set to music. Its text is quite angular and challenging in many ways, so I decided to take a sort of orchestral approach to it, and I used some rhythmic textures where the choir interacts back and forth with the piano, there's a lot of repeated text, and uh, to create a sort of form that represents this struggle with coming to the end of one's life. At the end of the movement, it's ultimately uplifting as the text comes to terms with dying and finally accepts that it's all part of the cycle of life and of color. When I first came across Primary Colors by Miriam Waddington, I was immediately struck by it and almost dismissed it actually because it, the language is so visceral and I was worried that I wouldn't be able to, to do it justice, to lift it off the page in a way that was as edgy and adventurous as I thought this poem was. So I actually put it aside and when I sent it to Morna, um, saying that I had this possible idea, she was really encouraging and gave me the courage to, to actually sink my teeth into it. And I'm so glad she did. The harmonic language that I've explored in this piece and some rhythmic passages that I've come up with, I'm very, very glad that I took the risk to, to uh, set this text because I feel that it's pushed me as a composer in a really positive direction. Mm -hmm.